4th November 2014. A day etched in our hearts as it disseminated the fact that intolerance in the name of religion has escalated beyond the rule of law in Pakistan. A country where crowds can be provoked on religious sentiments to settle personal scores and dispense mob justice. A day when Pakistan's blasphemy laws were once again misused leading to an act of extreme violence. Shama and Shazad, the young Christian couple living and working on a brick kiln in court Radha Kishan Kasur as bonded labor, brutally lost their lives to religious hatred. A dispute with the kiln owner over their loan amount resulted in an alleged accusation of blasphemy. The village clergy were informed, who were prompt in provoking rage and hysteria in the entire area. A frenzied mob of over 3,000 brutalized the young couple. The fact that Shama was seven months pregnant did nothing to deter the mob. They had decided the verdict of doom had been declared. No questions were asked and no answers were required. The elimination of the undesirables had to be carried out. Shama and Shazad were brutally tortured tied to a tractor and dragged through the village before they were thrown into the burning furnace of the very same brick kiln that they worked for. Nothing of them remained, just some brittle fragments of bones and teeth. This inhuman incident sent a wave of horror across Pakistan. There were countrywide candlelight vigils and protest rallies demanding justice. In the midst of all this chaos, there were three very young, terrified and confused children, six-year-old Suleiman, four-year-old Sonia, and two-year-old Una. The eldest son, Suleiman, witnessed what no human should witness, the barbaric killing of his parents. Our inability to sit back and watch compelled us at the Cecil and Iris Chaudhry Foundation to reach out to these children. From the very onset, we undertook the responsibility to take care and educate all the three children of the couple. Suleiman, Sonia, and Bunim were shifted to Lahore as their custody was given to their maternal grandfather with whom they have been living since. My name is Mukhtar. I am a father of a father. I was born in the village of Goa. 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 पांच बंदे होना मौत से जा कितने जिन्हें जो दो बंदे हाई कोर्ट ने रिया करते ने एक दिन आ अपना अनेफ ये एक करो और एक आफत साफ हो दो बंदे और रिया करते ने बाकी जेड़ा साढे को लोग आ रहे ने को जा रहे हैं को आ गए पहुंचते दास ने सान वसीब दास ने हम के सब तो जेड़ा साढे ना तामन एस टाइम कर रही सिसर चौड़ी दी बेटी कर रही है तामन बच्चे ना ते जिधर सुलेमान शिजादे वो ऑस्ट्रेलिया से वसी होते हैं उन्हों कार रहे हैं वो पढ़ता होते पढ़ता है जिन्दे बच्चे सारा खर्चा सिसर चौड़ी दी बेटी कर रही है। We at the CICF have been working very closely with the children and the grandfather to bring about some level of normality to their lives. Regular outings, picnics, celebrating religious festivals. Have all contributed towards helping these children understand life after that ill-fated day in November 2014. The pain of losing loved ones, especially parents, can never be taken away. But we can help ease that pain, and we at the CICF strive to do just that. ये वाकया पेश आया और शमार शिजाद को एक मुश्तल ग्रो ने भट्टा में जिंदा जला दिया तो उस वक्त ये तीन बच्चे सुलेमान सोनिया और पूनम जानाबाद में सीआईसीएफ एजुकेशन सेंटर के नाम से जो सिसला नारे चौधरी फाउंडेशन ने अपना तालीमी प्रोजेक्ट शुरू किया वहाँ पर इनको लाया और यहाँ पर यहाँ के तैयारबा� और आइस आइस था एक साल की बेनत के बाद इन बच्चों की ज़िन्दगी कैफियत को बदलने में कामयाब हुए अब ये बच्चे तकरीबन नार्मल बच्चों की तरह बर्ताव करते हैं। With love, care and a healthy environment, today these children are well adjusted in school, 
and are not only doing well academically, but are also eagerly participating in the school's extracurricular activities. It gives us immense joy and spiritual gratification to see these children healthy, happy, and confident, doing so well in life. We're so pleased to be actively involved in their lives and contribute towards their personal and academic growth. In order to further groom these children and provide them with a better quality of life, it was decided, in their best interest, to put them into boarding schools. Suleiman has been put into a Christian boarding school run by missionaries. He settled in well, made friends, and is enjoying this new way of life. Sony and Poonam, however, will continue in the existing school for another year, till they are old enough to go to boarding school. The horrific incident of lynching that took place on 4th November 2014 in Kot Radha Kishan sent, did not only send a wave of horror across Pakistan, but it shocked the entire world. For they did not only burn in a, two innocent lives in that furnace, they burned humanity, they burned the teachings of Islam, and they burned Jinnah's Pakistan. And no amount of monetary reparations could atone for such an extreme act of violence. Two innocent lives lost to extreme bigotry in our society. However, the pieces had to be picked up. Shama and Shazad left behind three extremely vulnerable, confused and traumatized children. We at the Cecil and Iris Chaudhry Foundation could not just sit back and not do anything. We reached out to these children and decided to provide them with education in order to bring about a change for the better in their lives. We strongly believe in the power of education and we always say that Taaleem Tahafuz hai, Tabdili hai, which means uh, education is protection and education is change. How, therefore, we decided that to bring about a change in their lives, we must provide them with education. So we brought these children to Lahore, they live with their grandfather. Initially we had to experiment with various schools because they were not even accustomed, they were not used to city life. Uh, they had never been to school, they could not even speak Urdu, they would only speak Punjabi. So it was very challenging trying to settle them down into schools. Uh, eventually we, have, we, we were able to do that. A lot of hard work on behalf of my team who have, who have constantly been taking care of them, being there for them throughout these, uh, the time that they were going through this difficult phase. Uh, in order to bring about some kind of normality in their lives, we were, we would have, we were taking them out or to, to, you know, picnics and outings. Uh, at the same time, providing them, celebrating festivals with them and trying to bring back some kind of a normal life for them. And today, four years later, we are so pleased, mashallah, they are well settled, they are happy, they are healthy, they are confident and doing so well in school. So um, we at the CICF are committed to stand by these children for as long as they need us. Um, I have always said that taking care of Suleiman, Sonia and Poonam is not a project. Like organizations have projects, this is not a project. This uh, is taking care of three lives and we stand committed to stand by them for as long as they need us or till the time they are ready to face the world. I also take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you who have supported us on this journey with Suleiman, Sonia and Poonam. Uh, it is your generosity that has enabled us to, to accomplish what we have accomplished today. And uh, I hope that you will continue to stand by us on this journey as we strive and give our all to provide these three children with a healthy, happy and secure future, the kind they so truly deserve. We thank each one of you for your love, concern and generosity. It is because of your continuous support that we are able to reach out and wipe tears, heal hearts and restore smiles in the most adverse of circumstances, for which we remain immensely grateful.